Today I'm joined by Joe Hayden, and yeah, so let's just get into it. So how are you doing today? Yeah, I'm good, thank you, mate. I'm uh, a bit tired this morning, 40 mile run this morning, and uh, legs feel a bit heavy, but apart from that, I'm good. So what made you start boxing? Because I saw that you were 0-1 in amateurs, and then you kept going, and now you're 6-0 as a pro, so how did that happen? Yeah, well... I started boxing when I was around 11 years old, really, and uh, I did it for about a year or so. I had a, had a skills bout when I was 11, and then uh, my mum gave me the ultimatum of you either play football or boxing. At that moment in time, I was big into my football as well, and that's what all the mates did. So I sat boxing off and went with football, and um, and I just I did that for, for years, really. And then... Um, can you still hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Sorry, I just had a call. And then after that, um, I floated in and out of it, really. I, um, I'd, I'd have my football season, and then when football season finished, in off-season, I'd go out boxing gym and keep fit and do all bag and I'd spar and everything. I'd do all that just to... I enjoyed it, really, but I didn't I didn't want to commit to it too much because I still had the football, and I favoured that over the boxing. So I just floated in and out. And then um, when I was 18, I had a bad, a bad injury with the football, and uh, and after that, I, I couldn't really get my head back into it, into the into training and playing football. So I thought I like to keep fit. What else do I like doing? I like doing boxing. So I thought I'd go down to the gym and, and get it proper going. I fell fell in love with it proper, and since then, really, I've I've just always stuck at it. Yeah, what level did you get as a footballer? Uh, I was at semi pro, semi pro. Sorry, I I played for uh, Frickley Athletic. Uh, I think there were about seven divisions below the professional ranks, but no, there were some good players there, some good ex-pros who played uh, Premier League football, and uh, we're all right, to be fair. That's good, though. How did you meet Dave Allen? Uh, I met Dave. I were at my old amateur club, and uh, Dave had Danny and Liam and uh, a couple of other lads, and he used to bring them down to, to amateur club sparring, and... Uh, I used to do a few rounds with Danny and Liam and that's how I met him initially. And then obviously we went into lockdown. I carried on training with my little brother, me and him were just going in back garden, sparring, doing runs and stuff like that. And uh, Dave was still training lads on patio in lockdown. So uh, Danny dropped us a message, well, dropped my little brother a message initially asking him to, if he wanted to come down and do a bit of body sparring and that. So I was working, my little brother went down. And then the day after, he got invited back down again. So I went down with him. And then from there, really, we just carried on training. OK. Now, another question I wanted to ask you is, I saw on your Instagram you've been training with Jack Catherall. How do you think the Josh Taylor-Jack Catherall rematch will go? Yeah. I'm looking forward to it, to be honest, mate. It's, a, it's an interesting one because it's, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a fan of Josh Taylor, to be honest. I, I do watch a lot of Josh Taylor. I, I really like his style and I like him as a fighter. But... Uh, Obviously, I really like Jack as well, and it's a brilliant fight, style wise and match up. It's a great fight, um, but no, it's being involved in a camp like like Jack Catchell is unbelievable. Jack's Jack's another level, and and it really does show it, Jim, and and just to be in and around people like that's unbelievable, especially with such a short time in boxing to be there already, being able to be part of a world title camp is. Uh, it's an unbelievable experience. No, I am really looking forward to it, to be honest, because obviously after the first one, I I don't know about you, but I thought Jack won it yeah, very, Jack very won. easily, to be honest. But mm. and I'm I'm gutted for him to be honest, because he should he should have all four or five belts. I just can't remember where it four. He should have all, all the belts really. Mm. And uh and he should be boxing for all the belts again. But obviously is it is it only for one belt this time? I think so, yeah. Is it yeah. Yeah. Which is a shame because it, it means he won't be undisputed, which which he deserves to be, but it is what it is and hopefully he gets the win and, and maybe hopefully he can pick up every belt individually, which will be some achievement as well. Yeah, the backlash that Josh got though was so undeserved, wasn't it? Because it wasn't his fault. It was yeah, I didn't really, yeah, I didn't really read much into it, to be honest. After after the result, I, I didn't really pay much attention to, uh, to what happened, but... but were he just getting a lot of backlash? We we we're saying that he won and stuff like that. Yeah, it was like the, I th I think some people were even sending like death threats to his family, which is just yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. It's not fair. It's a sport, end of the day, isn't it? And 
Josh, Josh never made the decision. He never made the decision to get the win, did he? So you you can't blame him or his team for that, I guess. Yeah, I the the rematch. I think I honestly see it going. Josh Taylor win on points just because I think he needs to win it. Yeah, that's just how I see it going personally. Um, yeah, it'd be interesting because did he struggle? Did he struggle with the weight to yeah the first fight? He really struggled. Yeah. There was a documentary portrayal of a fight, yeah. and he was before the fight. He was having to do all this stuff to cut weight, and he looked like really yeah. healthy. So, and it wasn't. Is it, is it, yeah, is it back at the same weight as well? Is it? I think he's going up. I think he's doing this fight at uh, junior welterweight, and then he's going to go up to welterweight. Yeah, yeah. So that'd be interesting to see how he makes the weight again and see if he's still strong at that. My next question is: Why have you had six fights in the space of six months? Well, basically, it's because, like, like I said before, with the lack of experience in the amateurs, uh, I, I was struggling to get fights. So we made the decision to turn pro, and uh, and because I'm always in the gym, I'm always in shape. We could we could be able to go back to back and just keep fighting. And I like I just need that experience, so to keep to keep busy and keep fighting. And under the lights, doing it for real, walking out in front of a crowd, boxing in front of a crowd, having a real fight, no headgear, small gloves. Yeah. Uh, I just, the experiences of it all is uh, is what I needed really, and and I cope with it well. I've uh, I got me six fights out. I ain't lost a round yet, and and it's all gone really well. So I'm ready to have another little step up now. Like that that was phase one, and phase one basically we're just getting the experience and the rounds in whilst learning how to cope with the pressures of fighting, the making, the weight, walking, like I said, walking out in front of a crowd, doing doing all that stuff. So now that that's done and I've proved that I can I can cope with that stuff and still box well, now it's time for phase two where I can step it up a little bit and start doing a bit more. Yeah, on to phase two. What, what, what do you see yourself doing in the next year when it comes to boxing? Like how many fights? Um, I think we've... We've got planned four fights next year. I think that's what I'll do. And uh, but so I won't won't be as busy throughout next year. I'll only get four fights in, but in that time my sparring is gonna be uh top level sparring. I'm gonna really be working hard and grafting in the gym. So uh I'll take a step back from being as active with the fighting, but in the gym I'm gonna be just as busy. Yeah. What would say your end goal is? So say 10, 15 years from now, you look back at your career, what would you say your end goal is gonna be? I'd love to pick up a few titles, you know, British title, hundred percent. That's that's a dream to win a British title. That's I think, as any British fighter would say, picking up a British title is is the dream, really. And uh, it's, it's unpredictable, really. You can't really say because I've only been in it for real, like seriously, for about two years, and uh, and we're at where we're at now, like six and zero pro sparring, uh, the likes of Jack Catchwell, world class fighters for world title fight so and I'm, I'm still only 23 years old so uh, in a few years time uh, if I keep this rate of improvement up keep learning off, off people like Jack and, and taking all these experiences in it's hard to say really you can't really say where I'm going to go but hopefully I'll win a few titles and box at world level that, that'll be that's the dream What does a day of training look like for you? So what what's your schedule for training in a day? Um, it all depends really it depends We've got that week. How many spars we've got that week? Um, ice. So, spar the day before sparring will be relatively steady. Just be sharpening up. Maybe a, a walk in the morning just to keep his legs moving, and then uh, some little so a little pad session uh, on the evening just to keep sharp for the spar in the morning. And then um, the day after sparring, you could. Have a steady morning and then an hard night, uh, running or weights, etc. So, yeah, it all depends really. Each week's different depending on what 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 sessions, what sparring sessions, and that we've got planned. It, it all works around that. Yeah, and then I wanted to also ask you about the Tyson Fury Derek Chisora fight. What do you think about that? So, so um, what do you think about? It? Yeah, first I found it hard to watch to be honest because it was quick. It was clear from about round two that. Fury had him hurt and he could have got him out of there. Yeah. And um, and after round two, you'd think three and four he's going to get stopped here. But 
he seemed to take his foot off at gas and, and just have fun, really, and, and play about with Derek, which well, might be all right getting the rounds in, but in the long run, it's chuffing. I don't know, it's not it's not really entertaining from from a fan watching, because you, you know he can end it whenever he wants to end it, and he's just, I don't know, it was it an hard one, but it is what it is, isn't it? And it, it become painful to watch. I think even referee went over to uh, Derek's corner, didn't he, and, and told him about pulling him out, but it's their decision at the end of the day, isn't it? Yeah, so that's all the questions I really have for you. Thank you so much for your time and taking this interview. I really do appreciate that. So, yeah. No problem. Thank you for having me on. Nice to speak to you. Nice to speak to you. Good luck with the rest of your career, mate. Thank you very much.